papa ointment since I'm in Australia. Plaster of Paris. It's pretty much a thing you can get anywhere in the world. Scotch tape. Or any kind of tape you can get. Plaster bandages. And some scissors. So let's start. So first, if you're a guy, you're going to want to shave all the whiskers off just so they don't get in the way. Get undressed, take off your jewelry. Put on a hairnet if you have one. Tape up your eyebrows. Make sure you got all the things on your head out of the way. Just to make it so the hair doesn't pull out of your head and get stuck in the plaster. And this stuff here, um, since I'm making this mask in, Aus in Australia, it's called Paw Pop Ointment. And um, the price of Vaseline costs as much as that, so I just went ahead and got the Paw Pop for something different. Just want to dab that all over where the uh, plaster is going to touch your body, your face, and your neck. And then you want to. Yeah, you know, keep taping off any hairs that might be sticking out anywhere, sideburns or whatever, so it doesn't get stuck in the plaster. And here we go. Now this particular mask is going to be for a movie that we're shooting here in Sydney, Australia. Um, and I will keep producing videos as I come along with this particular mask. I won't be showing the and end product until we've actually released the movie but I yeah I can I can show the steps up to up towards the final product you can see this stuff dries pretty quick Especially with an eight times speed going on here. Now I'm just doing the front, front part of my face so I can pull this off. Of course, you don't want to go too far back because then you'll get your head stuck in it. You'll have to rip it off, and you want to be careful with the plaster. Don't get it in your eye. I've I've went ahead and pre-cut a bunch of pieces of this plaster bandage so so for the areas around the eyes and the nose it would fit easier just keep dabbing it on and 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 this is a mask for precision I'm, I'm trying to get all the detail and everything out of my face that I can so when when I remove it from the mold later on and put it over my face all the stuff that been painted onto it it's just you know it's really good detail and you'll see that once the uh, once the mold comes off of my face that it's it's got every little detail From this seven and a half minute video, it probably took me all together about an hour to do the front and the back. And once it's good and, and hard on your face, you want to get it off as soon as you can because if you get a lot of that on, it starts to actually cook, cook your skin. So by the time I take this off, I was actually feeling my head get a bit warm, so uh, tingly. So I just got it off as soon as I could. And in the, the next videos, you'll see uh, the eyes and the nose are covered right now. It's, it's really not needed. You know, you can do that at any time. It's an easy thing to cover later on. There we go. Off it comes. Check it out.
just really estimating kind of where the middle line is going to be. And of course, it, you know, you can always cut the access off, which is what I did, and, and um, yeah, you'll see that in the next video. You don't have to really worry about it too much at this stage. You just want to get two or three good layers of bandages on so they dry, they set, they're hard, and let this stuff cure at least a good two or three days. Because if you try to work it earlier, uh, especially if it's if it's cool, cooler temperatures and it doesn't dry quickly and you start to work with it, you're going to damage your mold, so just let it cure until it's rock hard. Now we're nearing the end of this video. Just be sure to uh, check out the s second video to this, which uh, you'll be able to see this, when this is cured. And I start working on it and filling in all the imperfections and getting it closer to a finished product. Later on, I'm going to reinforce this with, with, with clay and everything, and you can see how that's done. Pretty good. Sit in that box so it can dry out. And we'll catch on the next video for some more more exciting clips of uh, making this mask for a movie we're gonna shoot here in Sydney, Australia. Stay tuned. And I hope you enjoyed the video.